Okay, people, a question came up on how do you uh, connect a 5 to 1 hard start kit. You got a dual run cap, and does it matter which side of the contact you connect one of the legs to? Okay, so I made a little a quick wiring diagram. So normally you have a, here's your 240 volts in. So normally you'd have like a single pole contactor. You have a double pole, some have a double pole one too, so I just left this leg closed just for sake of clarity. So let's say you got your white and black power lines coming in here. This is your switch leg and the unswitch leg doesn't really this doesn't really matter. And here's your compressor and the two windings and the fan motor. So we're assuming that both these are what's called as a, a permanent split capacitor motor. And internally how these motors are wired is you have a uh, start winding here. Here's your run winding. Uh, inside, both the fan motor and the compressor are both connected together, usually with a in line with a little thermal cutout to prevent the windings from burning up and overheating to a terminal mark C. That's your CSR. So here's the other end of your start winding. Mark that S. Here's your run winding. So CSR. Can she run? That's how you remember that. Can she run CSR? And here's your Fan motor, you also have your C, S, and R. Okay. Now we have our dual run cap. In the center, you have your common terminal. And then here you have the H or HERM, which is a compressor terminal, and the F or fan terminal over here. So typically, this capacitance rating between here and the common would be much less than the, of course, in the compressor, hermetic one. So, how we, if we have a single pole counter, how we normally wire this up is uh, this black wire here, the unswitched leg, that just goes straight to common. So this will be like to your black wire coming from your fan motor. And we'll take this wire, which would be some of the manufacturers would be blue or yellow or what have you. That'll go to also the common. So see, the commons on the fan motors has totally not the same as the common on your dual run cap. Actually, you might call this, this is this is the, the run winding terminal, because what's going to happen is, you're going to take your, here's your switch leg, let me just jump over here, there's no connection here, of course, take your switch leg from your 240 volts, and connect that to your, your common terminal. And then what happens, of course, is you take your brown wire from your fan motor, which is the start winding, that goes to its terminal here marked F or fan, herm or compressor wire, it's start winding, goes to here. Now, some manufacturers in different AC units, what they'll do is they'll take the run winding from here, the run winding from your fan motor, and they'll also connect to this common terminal. Oops, sorry. Damn pen. Okay. So they all connect together here. Let's see. That's not the common here. Now, if you take your 521, just draw a symbol for the potential relay, it'll also have a, a CSR. Can she run? You know, 522. Five, about how you remember that is 521. Can she run? So your 5 terminal, here's your 5, that's C. Your 2, that's start. And 1. Remember? Your hard circuit 521. Can she run CSR? So 5. This just absolutely does not go to the common on the run cap. And it does matter which leg of the contact you connect it to because uh, if you connect it to this leg here, well, you just made that three wire hearts into two wire because all the wires come back to here. So the way to properly connect this is you take your five wire, okay? That's actually supposed to match the CSR on the compressor. This 5 goes to the common the compressor. So you follow the wire back to the contactor, that's this side. So 5 goes here. Find a connector on your contactor, print it here. 2, that's start. Okay, that's easy enough, that's self explanatory. That goes to the same terminal on your dual run cap mark for which is correct. And R, which is the run, the 1, the 1 wire. That goes here, which if you noticed, from the common on the run cap, that goes to your run winding your compressor. How this works basically is when it first starts, there's no, the compressor's not rotating, so there's no back EMF in this run winding. So this potential relay is not pulled in, it's a normally, 
normally closed relay. So this, the, your big electrolytic start capacitor here is parallel with this capacitor here between your common and Herm terminal. And what happens is, is it increases the phase angle of the current to the voltage relationship by so much it limits the inrush current and provides much more starting torque and gets this thing spinning. Now once it starts spinning because this run winding is connected here, what it's doing is it's this potential relay is sensing the, the current that's building up in this run winding. And as the motor picks up speed, builds up magnetism, it starts generating a, what's called back EMF or electromotive, electromagnetic force. So it's building up voltage here. And once this potential relay senses that, that hey, this compressor is up to, almost up to speed now, it, 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 drop, it drops out the electrical capacitor and it stays out of the circuit. That's the beauty of the 521. It only holds this big capacitor in for the length of time it needs to get your compressor up to speed. Now, what Hat Free HVAC was talking about with those cheap. Well, this is a PTC, worthless piece of shit, super boost, but there's those other uh, two or ones they hate, they have a, they brag they have a potential relay in it. That's not a potential relay. What it is is an electronic timer that keeps this capacitor in the circuit for a full one second every time it starts. Now, sure, it'll start your compressor every time, start after start after start, but it's holding that cap, this monster size start cap in there for a full second every time, and that, that's going to eventually burn up your your start winding, too much current. So, like a hack free HVAC said, uh, those ones with the one second timer in them, I don't use them either. What happens is eventually the timer get, gets hot from holding that monster sized cap in there for one second each time. And eventually it fries. I've seen them with the top blown apart, and you can see the guts in it. It's it's ugly. That's the only, that's the only hard start. It's worth a crap. It's 5521, or even better, is the factory original part with a separate potential relay and a separate capacitor like in my in my train XC1200. Alright, that's all for now.